Hey the moment friends, Zandang here for another episode of the epic story when we last left off. We are about to examine unusual items within Delosad. And now we are to go within. We finally think that we are at the resting place of the Ring Narquil. Or at the very least, we'll learn answers of what happened here. Alright, let's examine this brazier. Laradane, and an elf maiden, and hairball, <laughs> all in ghost form. Father, I am frightened. How did I come to be here? I, I don't remember. Do not be afraid, Namalith. I will not let them hurt you any more. All right. Apparently he will not be hurt any more. Seems like good news. Oh yes, I remember this. We have to fight off all these guys. All right. Next an urn, yes. Right. You know, I'll accept that. I want you to listen to this very carefully, Sarah. She may not always be herself. She may yell at you or threaten to strike at you. Rise not to anger. Namalith can be cur cured of this. I am certain of it. Do you understand? Repeat to me your duties. I am to bring her meals twice a day, and water with which to bathe. I am to treat her kindly, but must not give her news of the world outside. I am not to ask of her past, and she is not to leave her room. Very good, Sarah. The duty is yours. May you hold it for as long as your predecessor. For Nominus' sake. Alright. Who knows how long that this tragedy took place. Here we are. I brought you some flowers, Nominus. I do not want any flowers, Father. But these are so nice. Do you remember? I said I do not want them. Oh no. Fallen Brazer. Narmalith. I do not remember Linden. I, I remember only dark, terrible places. I remember shouting and the clash of swords. Was I in a battle? I remember pain and death. There was a warrior. I I cannot see his face. I would trade it all to remember flowers. I will prepare you another room for you, my daughter. This one has become unpleasant. Oh no. Not cave claws. What will we ever do? There's vile cave claws in this cave. Well, old abandoned building. Alright. Let's continue deeper into this mystery. <gasps> Mordereth. What is Mordrith doing here? Why is he walking through walls? Mordrith! Yeah. No matter. Alright. 
Let's see here. Well, only one way to go. Books. Nadine. Sarah. Nadine, I did not think. What have you there, Sarah? She has been so lonely, Laradane, and she asked for books, I thought. Books? I told you most clearly not to do such a thing. I am sorry, Sarah. You did not mean any harm. What happened to her, Laradane? Why do you keep her locked up like this? My daughter's heart was claimed by Shadow. If you were given the chance to bring back one you loved from darkness, would you not take it? Is there not someone who could help you, the elves? I fear what my people might do. If they knew Namala still lived, they... I will tell Master Elrond when Namala has recovered. No more books, Sarah. No more books. Oh no. Ah, Dane. Such a broken soul. He only wants to do what's best for his daughter. But in the process, he might be risking all of Ariador. Alright, I guess we're going this way. Here's another brazier. Hairball, you're stuck outside. Oh no. Sarah tells me you have not been eating, Namalith. I will eat not the oak heart brings me. I am a Marthiel, the champion of Angmar. Thou cannot keep me here. I did not come here to speak with you, Amathiel. I came to speak with Namalith, my daughter. I am the champion of Angmar, so shall I always be. You are Namalith, an elfsmith of too great skill, and my daughter. Where is my ring, foolish one? Where is Narquil? You will never see your ring again, Amathiel. I have sent it beyond your reach. Lies, thou hast kept it for thyself. And one day, I shall take it from thee. Narquil is beyond your power now, Amathiel. You will never hold it again. This room, too, has an unsavory air. I will prepare another for you. I will return to see you in three days, Nemelith. Nemelith is no more. Amathiel will live forever. Do you hear me, Laradane? Amathiel will live forever. If only I had Hairball here to help me with these Sithad crawlers. <sighs> Hairball, there you are again, buddy. If I lost Hairball, who knows what I might do. I suppose I see Laradane's line of thinking. But only barely. Alright. Let's see what is in this final urn. Oh no. It's Mordrith. Narmoth. And a very slowly close it. Oh! <laughs> Is someone there? Hail, Amathiel, champion of Engmar. Stay away! Father! Sarah! Engmar has missed thee, Amathiel. Our master grieved when thou were lost. It has been many years since thou were taken, hidden from own master's sight. 
but thou remain his humble servant, didst thou not? Thou, though the daughter of Ladadane sought to resist me, I have the greater power. My loyalty is to Angmar, even and always. Amathiel serves the one master. Good. I knew it would be so. In time, we will repay thy jailer's servanthood, Amathiel. We must move now with haste. It has pleased me t to exact revenge upon the elf Ladadane and the crone Oakheart. Oakheart spoke often of her cottage, taunting me with her freedom. When my strength returns, I will see it burnt to the ground and the crone with it. It is better than... It is better than she deserves, Amathew. I welcome thee to Sithad, Staffdang, the site of thy doom. These walls have seen much, have they not? I have a message for thee, doomed man, and may it give thee joy. We have found Narquir. Goodbye, Staffdang. We will not meet again. I'm trapped here. What could I do? I must get out. But how? Stepdang! Stepdang! Quickly pass me the keys and I will open the gate. My heart cannot sing today. Stepdang, are you alright? The black Numenorian appeared outside Delosad, and I only had a moment in which to hide myself. Were it any other opponent, I would have engaged him in battle, but I could not hope to defeat him without others of my kindred. He came to the door and passed inside, and I followed behind him in secret, hoping beyond hope that I might oppose him in the final need. I shudder to think what might have done had he known I was there. Let us leave this place, friend. You can tell me what you have done you have learned as we travel out of the shadows of this sad ruin. Let us leave this place. Memory hangs on its stones like a shroud and fills me with unease. The Rangers of Evendim mourn their number slain during Mordrumbor's escape from Tinudir. Meanwhile, the Angmarim searched the wilderness for Narquil, the ring of Amathiel. Yeah. I fear that Amathiel has already discovered Narquil's resting place, mm. and with it, the doom of the North. Even the map in the background is red. That's pretty ridiculous. Ah, oh, man. Things just got real. Alright, let's head once more to Candeleth and tell her that Mordreth either has the ring or is a lot closer to finding it. Luckily, we now know the true situation between Laradane and Marthiel and his daughter. Hmm. Such a tragic tale. Well, we have no time to lose. We must get to Candeleth and learn of this ring's location as soon as we can. The sun is setting upon the troll shards. And our enemy has found the ring, or come to close to it. What has happened, Staffdang? Why is your face etched in sorrow? Well, it's probably because there were bad things that happened. Silly elves never know when things happen and why they happen. Will you lend me your ear? Alright, well, that is the end. Just kidding. This is Book 11, Chapter 13. You say that Amathia's forces have recovered Narquil? This is terrible news, Staffdang, and undermines all that we have sought to accomplish. Lord Elrond must be told. Seek him in the library of Imladris, and give him these grim tidings, as well as the diary of Sarah Oakhart. He will know what can be done, if anyone will. Alright, level 53. Already making our way through... Uh, Quite a lot of content. Um, 
It's now time to uh, talk to Elrond once more. Hopefully he will know what is to be done next. <sighs> Faces of such losses, how can you stand against such evil? <sighs> well, that is the role of a hero, I suppose. Let's just hope that I can be one. <sighs> time to talk with Elrond. Dark days are coming. Your tale fills me with sorrow, Staff Tang. The fall of Narmaleth is a sad tale known by few, and then only in part. Of her imprisonment by Laradain, following the Battle of Fornost, I knew nothing. It grieves me that Laradain believed I would not suffer Narmaleth to live. The slaying of a captive is not the way of the Eldar and she would have been safe in my house, though she remained a Matthew. I believe we can guess at the sad fate of Sarah Okart, last in a long line of nameless keepers. I do not doubt she treated the daughter of Laladane kindly, but her payment was doom, and more than that, a Matthew learned the dark arts from a cruel master, and it seems she took the visage of her jailer for her own, an unhappy fate. I am certain of one more thing, Staptang. Angmar has not yet recovered Narquil. The ways of the enemy are the ways of deceit. Do not give in to despair. If Narquil had been found, Amathia would have recalled her minions, and she has not done so. She may have learned some new information concerning its whereabouts, but her servants have yet to find it. Of this I am sure. We must remain vigilant against them, as always, and continue our search. Elrond's gift. Ah, quite nice. Thank you, Elrond. Hope is not in vain. All right, and there's the start of book twelve, and uh, so uh, definitely a crazy uh, story. A lot of um, build up and preparing for the uh, final four books of the epic story happened uh, this time, and um, I think it's really cool how you see the uh, Ghost of Mordrith and then all of a sudden he's actually there in front of you. I think that that is probably one of the smartest things they've done in the epic story. And um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series so far. Uh, it is getting towards the uh, final few books, which uh, it just keeps getting better and better moving forward until book 15, where it just becomes absolutely insane. So uh, anyway, till then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you again real soon. But remember to read the quest text, because it's awesome. Anyway, till next time, thank you guys so much, and I'll see you again for book 12. PVMP and Dang, subscribe.